In an emptier than usual downtown Milan, a sense of anxiety, but no signs of panic. Amid the first major coronavirus outbreak in Europe, landmarks like the Duomo Cathedral and La Scala Opera House have been closed temporarily. A headline screams out, virus, the great fear. Even though fear, at least for now, isn't all that apparent. Yes, schools have been shut down, but this vegetable market remains open. We are out in the open air, but I don't know, I don't see any dangers. We are working a lot over the phone. People are not leaving their houses, and they call us and we bring their shopping to them. That's the way we're working at the moment. Milan's mayor says the main mission now is to contain the possible further spread of the virus, and that while numbers of those infected have indeed been going up, that could be because health officials are proactively looking for new cases. He also urged residents not to clear supermarket shelves. But videos posted on social media like this one suggest that advice may be falling on deaf ears. In northern Italy, the number of coronavirus cases continues to surge, even though at least 10 hotspot towns are effectively under lockdown. Police check vehicles trying to enter one of the quarantine towns. Authorized lorries carrying essential goods and medical supplies are allowed through. Everyone else is turned away. In an effort to contain the spread of the coronavirus, even the Venice Carnival was cut short. I never thought I would have to sign an order to shut down the Venice Carnival. I never thought we'd have to close the schools, churches, museums and all public places. I know I'm asking a lot from our citizens, but I know that when things get hard we can pull together. We just need to think about our health. Inside the town of Casal Busterlengo, authorities have allowed select shops to reopen. Outside, long lines of shoppers wearing protective masks and gloves, keen to stock up. All this as officials are still struggling to confirm the origin of the outbreak in Italy. Mohamed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera, Milan.